كانوا عم يقصفوا كان في يجي كثير صوت تبع لما كانوا يقصفوا كان يجي صوت يعني يعني كان بيخوف Yo no me imaginé que hubiera tanta gente saliendo del país. La casa fue cat manzeli, fue cat saadet yali y saadti. Tus, no le acuerdan a tus. Each of these voices is unique, but their experience is shared. Shared with 1% of the people on this planet. For the first time, 1% of humanity is now uprooted forced to flee their homes in what for many becomes a long and harrowing search for safety. Today we count 79.5 million people who are now displaced, wrenched from their homes by violence, persecution, conflict and the violation of human rights. This is nearly twice as many as a decade ago according to statistics compiled by the UN Refugee Agency from 2010 to 2019. 26 million of them are refugees, but the majority of those forced to flee are still living inside their own countries. The scale of the numbers defies our imagination. Consider this, 100 million people have been displaced in the past decade. The uprooted are victims of a world in conflict, and they pay an incalculable cost. Baby, la parmi ça là, on garde petit. Vie pas chama. Nimba me ya nya bu bonku de si de obtaure. Renata fled an attack on her village in Burkina Faso, where close to half a million people fled due to insecurity in 2019 alone. Mujtaba, from Afghanistan, found safety in Greece, but brought the trauma of war with him. But the fact that I had a job, 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 I had which nine years into its war is still the world's biggest displacement crisis. In fact, five countries account for two thirds of people displaced across borders. Syria, Venezuela, Afghanistan, South Sudan, and Myanmar. And half of them are children. Displaced children often lack access to education. They are exposed to violence and exploitation, and too many face dangers alone. In 2019, UNHCR counted more than 150,000 child refugees who were unaccompanied by or separated from their families. Africa's Sahel region is a growing hotspot as violence spreads from Mali to Niger, Burkina Faso and beyond. 80% of the forcibly displaced reside in countries grappling with food insecurity and the extremes of climate change. More hardship awaits them. So why do the numbers keep going up? For those fleeing conflict and persecution, options to rebuild their lives are limited. Opportunities for resettlement in another country fall far short of needs, while fewer refugees are able to return home safely. Tens of millions of people remain in exile for years on end, in countries and communities that are often poor and struggling themselves. Even so, there is hope. We are joining forces to respond to refugee crises together. Governments alongside aid groups, the private sector and civil society, and with refugees themselves. We need to bolster inclusion in work and schools. And we must protect asylum as it protects the most fragile among us. I feel like I go back home. Yes, this is my home because I feel um, this is my home. In a world grappling with a global health pandemic, we are reminded of how interconnected we are, that the safety of one is linked to the safety of us all. It is a time for solidarity, 
still, now, and more than ever before.